morning everyone let's just get stuck in so we've got some frozen strawberries in the pot we've just added a teeny bit of water maybe just like one or two tablespoons and we're let, just letting all of that heat together combine together the strawberries are going to start to soften going to melt and whatnot and you can see through each of these different stages the strawberries degrading and breaking down um, at some point I add a teeny bit of uh, lemon juice like half um, a quarter of a lemon I just squeeze the juice in to there um, and yeah we're just going to let this reduce we don't actually add any sugar I lie we used a teeny bit of maple syrup can you imagine I was just about to lie to you wow okay I added a bit of maple syrup I'll put the um, ingredients measurements all of that jazz in the description box below but yeah I've just added the lemon juice and I've added a bit of maple syrup and we're just letting this come together so it's all homogenous everyone's getting on with everyone we love to see that and then um, the strawberries were a bit too big for me so I just um, use the potato masher which is now the strawberry masher and it's just mashing up the strawberries so job well done you know and now I'm just going to start to cook the oats um, on like medium high medium ish temperature I like to cook them here are some tips. I like to soak my oats. Uh, if I can do them overnight, I will. But sometimes I don't know if I'm going to eat oats. So I soak them in if I can. Maybe before I've just shower. Uh, number two, I like to add tons and tons of cinnamon. It's just uh, delicious. It just tastes great. Um, yeah, so I've just cooked the oats. I presume you guys know how to cook oats. Um, so I haven't really shown you that much. But you essentially let it cook on a low heat. Low, medium heat or so. Um, adding water or liquid wherever you need to um, for about like five to ten minutes until it reaches your desired consistency and it's only after I finish cooking it that I add my milk so you don't actually need to use that much milk anyways I've laid on the strawberries that were cooking uh, that takes about five ten minutes to cook as well and bish bash bosh simple dinner I mean simple breakfast I don't know where my mind is at um, there was a bit of sauce, so I just poured that on top, and yeah, it looks amazing. I'm just going to mix it. Mm -hmm. So good. It's day two, day two. Everyone likes it when it's day two. Doing the same thing again. Oats, cinnamon, water. I used hot water this time, I didn't mean to, but it's fine. Um, then I just mashed up one banana, the last banana in the house, and I just added it into the oat. You might be like, hold up, what's going on here? That sounds whack, yo. But trust me, it is a game changer. Anyways, let that cook as usual. Um, once it's all done, I'm going to, of course, add the milk. But actually, look, I added some maple syrup to the bowl. And this is just going to ensure that... Every single bite is just full of cinnamony, oaty, bananary, maple syrupy goodness. Um, I definitely had a sweet tooth and I was definitely hungry today. Because um, I added some more cinnamon and then I added some more maple syrup. I went OTT over the top. Uh, you don't need to do that. But if you do, you won't regret it. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm going to eat this. You could eat it too if you make it. So then... We're gonna eat it, you know? Um, and yeah, it's, it's gonna be delicious. Okay, here we go. Just going to mix it all together. And you know, you get the best of both worlds, as, as they say. Yeah, okay. I've mixed it up. I've mixed it up. Ooh, you can see the puddles of maple syrup. I probably put too much, but there's no such thing as too much maple syrup, you know? Mm-hmm. That's where it's at. This is where it's at. Oh my gosh. So it is day three and I'm once again sounding like a broken record as I say. Add oats to the pot. Add water. And I'm gonna put a bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon goes well with virtually anything. And then I'm just gonna grate uh 
the zest of one orange that I've washed thoroughly into there. And I'm just going to put turn this on and let this cook, uh, adding some raisins as well. Um, that was about like a handful of raisins. Add however much you want or however little. Um, yep, just going to let this cook. This is definitely one of those kind of underdog breakfasts. It doesn't look like much, but it certainly tastes like much. Um, once again, I added the milk. And, yep, you can see what's happening. I'm stirring it, right? And now you can see what's happening because I'm pouring it into the bowl. I'm trying to be all edgy and stuff, you know, living life on the edge. Eating breakfast on the edge. Everything on the edge. Yeah, this is one of my uh, go-to porridge oats breakfasts. Um, and I put a bit of cinnamon, a bit of maple syrup, because what's life without maple syrup? So let's see what this tastes like. Let me get some raisin in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's just good. I, I, there's nothing much I can say really. It's just good. Hello, it is day four and I'm doing the same thing I always do. Add the oats, add the water, add the cinnamon. I'm adding the chopped um, apple. And into the butter, yep. So, there's not really much I can say really, it's self-explanatory, you can see it there. I'm just letting that saute, it's you know starting to soften, I'm adding some cinnamon. Yep, I think I added a bit of water just to help it going, get going a bit there. Um, now I'm going to add muscovado sugar, but when I first did this I did it with brown sugar, so you could use either one. Yep, don't use a spoon when you have a... Uh, non stick pan instead use a spatula there you go that looks glorious i think we've done it yeah we've nailed it let's cook the oats yep cook 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 stir 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 heat warmth mm, milk yes we've got it everything's done cool pouring it in and in case you don't know what the oats looks like that's what it looks like Beautiful, beautiful. So you've got your oats, then you're going to want to just simply put the apple on top. And then you're just going to let the remaining liquid be the sauce. And you're just going to pour that in and look how seductive it looks. Oh yes, amazing, 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 nice. And now I'm just going to taste it. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh, yep, it burnt my mouth for sure. But I went in for another bite anyway. Welcome back guys. Yo, yo, yo. So it's the final day. It's day five. And yes, I am going to be extra with my porridge oats today. Um, but it's still going to be amazing. Um, it's not going to take too long. It's going to be fun. You can see I'm cutting up a pair right now. We're just going to cut them into slices. Thin, thick, however you like them. We all have our preferences, I suppose. So I'm basically just going to do the same thing I did with the pear, except this time I'm going to chop them into cubes. And yeah, there's, you can see it from the video really. I am chopping, chopping, chopping. I am chopping. Chop, chop, chop. I am chopping, chopping, chopping. Chop, chop, chop and chop. I am chopping, still chopping. This is how long it takes in real life. I am chopping, chopping. Not much to see but me chopping. I am chopping. Nearly done. Oof, there we go. Once again, I do the same old thing I always do. Add the oats, add the water, bish bash bosh, let it soak a bit while I cook the pear and the apple. As you can see now, I've just put a bit of butter, I put the pear slices, I gave up on just putting them one by one, chucked the whole thing in, letting it saute, letting it saute, bit by bit, after between five to 10 minutes, it starts to uh, reduce a bit. I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon 
add however much you like really it's delicious it's just it's just good you know that's why people did the cinnamon challenge i mean maybe they were stupid but still you know cinnamon's good and then this cook so it's been about five minutes and the fruit has started to soften but i'm just gonna let it cook for about five more minutes uh longer and then it'll be done oh look there you go that's what we like to see yes that's looking banging right gonna turn the heat on to the for the oats we're gonna let that cook you know until it reaches your desired consistency everyone likes it differently sometimes i like it um a bit drier than usual sometimes i like it very creamy with you know adding the milk at the end i think today i chose kind of something in the middle um oh you see i'm struggling with the pot there it doesn't help that you're filming with one hand stirring with the other but i managed somehow i've cooked it you can see it's a bit dry I've added the uh, milk. Oh, the pot's moving. You've got to hold on to that. Okay, I think I got it. Yep, cool. Stir. And now we're pouring, and the sun has decided to act up a bit, but it's all good. It's all good. Maybe it's giving me some sort of edgy effect. Yep. Didn't make a lot this day, but I packed it on with uh, a few toppings so that I made up for the lack of oats. We've got some almond butter, homemade, you know. I even used this homemade almond butter to make some almond butter cookies during lockdown, which were muy caliente, which doesn't even make sense in this context, but it was that. Yep. I added more than that. And I added on the fried pear and the uh, apple. And um, just so you can see me doing that here. Yep. Once again, one-handed stuff is not my forte. And then to top it all off, what do I go and add? Well, you know it already. It's called maple syrup. It's from Canada, Canada. And bam. And here I am eating it. Yes. My spoon is full of almond butter, however. So I'm about to take a big old dollop of almond butter into my mouth. Yep. I shake it off. It's not really working. And here I'm just going in. Going in for the kill. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Going in for a second bite. Because why not? Why not? Trying to get some pears. Trying to get some apple. Definitely trying to get some maple syrup in there. Let's try it out. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Why do you put the spoon down? Eat it. I know you wanna. Mm. Yes, yes, that's it. That's the spot. Mm. Yummy, yum, yum, yummy. Okay, um, I guess I'm still eating it on camera. Okay. Okay, another bite. In case you weren't convinced that it was delicious, here's another bite. Okay, I think, am I done? Oh, no. Why is this girl still continuing? I think they get the picture by now. Okay, she's going in for another bite. And... Oh, thank goodness, that's it. Woof! 